Hello everybody! In this video we are going to learn how to integrate cosine ninth of x. For this integration our key tool is Pythagorean identity for cosine squared of x. Our plan is to break cosine into even and odd power and then we are going to make cosine squared of x to do some power and do substitution for cosine squared of x. Let's begin. Our first plan is to break it into even and odd power. So cosine eighth of x times cosine x dx. Here cosine eighth of x times cosine of x equals to cosine ninth of x. Now we are done with step one. And our step two is to make cosine squared of x to some power. So cosine squared to the fourth is equal to cosine eighth of x. And we use cosine of x as it is. We're done with step two. Now step three. We're going to substitute cosine squared of x with one minus sine squared of x. So one minus sine squared of x to the fourth power times cosine of x dx. Now we're going to do u substitution. Let u be equal to sine of x. Then du will be derivative of sine of x, which is cosine of x dx. And if we solve for dx here, dx is equal to divide both sides by cosine of x, so du over cosine of x. Now write everything in terms of u. Let's do that. So integral 1 minus, instead of sine, we're going to use u and u squared to the fourth power and we have cosine of x here and instead of dx we're gonna write du over cosine of x as you can realize cosines cancel out and if we clean up we're gonna end up with 1 minus u squared to the fourth du now we're going to expand. For this we can utilize Pascal triangle. Pascal triangle starts with 1, 1, 1 and sides are always 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, sides are always 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3 sides are 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is the fourth power opening, expanding. Now let's write the coefficients first. So those are the coefficients. 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. And since our sign is negative sign in between, we start with negative, positive, negative, positive. Now our first term is 1. This is our first term. And u to the second is our second term. So let's copy paste first and second term as it is. And we're gonna use descending order for the first term starting from fourth, third, second, first and zeroth power and we're gonna use increasing order for the second term zeroth, one, second, third, 
and forth. Now we're going to clean up. So anything to the zeroth power is 1, and this is 1, so 1 minus. 1 cubed is 1, u to the second to the first power is u to the second, plus 6u to the fourth minus 4u to the sixth, plus u to the second to the fourth is u to the eighth du. Now we're going to apply the sum rule by separating the integrals. Okay, let's do that. So 1 du minus integral of, we can pull 4 to the front, u squared du plus 6 integral u to the 4th du minus 4 integral u to the 6th plus integral u to the 8th du. And we have du here. Now we're going to integrate each term one by one. So antiderivative of 1 is u minus u to the third over 3 plus u to the fifth over 5 minus u to the seventh over 7 plus u to the ninth over 9 plus c. Now our final step is to bring u back. Our u was sine of x, so it's going to be sine of x minus 4 over 3 sine cube of x plus 6 over 5 sine fifth of x minus 4 over 7 sine of 7 of x plus 1 ninth of sine to the ninth power of x plus c. So this is our final answer. So integration of cosine of ninth is not that bad. So if you follow the plan and do neatly algebra, you can end up with the correct answer. Thank you for watching.